Okay, so here I wanted to talk a little bit about um, LinkedIn, a little bit more about it, because I've only mentioned it in passing so far. And, um, but it is actually a very important tool. It's actually a very powerful tool when you're doing your marketing and when you're trying to find prospective clients and prospective customers. So LinkedIn is a social network, as most of you know, it's a social network that's geared more towards the professional. You know, while Facebook is more personal, LinkedIn is more professional. And um, it's, uh, you know, it's not used as much because most people like going to Facebook and looking for personal stuff, looking for updates on their friends or family. While uh, LinkedIn, uh, you know, they'll go for job stuff and they'll go if they're looking for a job or if they're looking to hire someone, et cetera, et cetera. Now, having said that, uh, LinkedIn can be very powerful and very useful. And so I wanted to talk about it. And this method that I want to talk about, this way of using LinkedIn, isn't really, it's not really um, an active thing. So I wouldn't put it under active marketing, but I wouldn't put it under passive either. It's kind of in between. And so uh, that's why I'm just including it as uh, something extra. So first of all, well, first of all, you need a LinkedIn uh, profile. If you don't have one, you should make one. And uh, you, you can just fill it out with all the information that we covered before in the pregame. Uh, you can put information from your resume, from your you know your list of services, and what you do. You can pretty much copy out if you have um, if you have an about me uh, page, then you can pretty much copy what you have there and uh, just put into your LinkedIn. I would then add your resume so you have everything on your LinkedIn detailed and in order. Um, and then the, well, the other odd thing about LinkedIn that you'll notice is that if anyone visits your profile, uh, you'll get a notification. So here you see someone uh, viewed my profile recently and I get a notification. So what you can do is, um, and you know, usually what happens is that you'll see, and this is someone I don't know, and then I'll click and see, you know, who's been looking and, uh, you know, maybe I'll look at her profile and, uh, and, you know see if it's someone I'm interested in doing business with or not, et cetera, et cetera. So what am I getting at? Basically, uh, when you are conducting your marketing and when you are contacting people either face-to-face -face or through the various methods that we've covered and uh, trying to get prospective clients or you know, when you started talking to people and kind of established a preliminary um, uh, contact with them, I would suggest going to LinkedIn. And when you go to LinkedIn, try to find whatever company it is that you talk to, but also try to find the person that you talk to. Because then what's going to happen is that this person, next time they go to LinkedIn, they're going to click on notifications and they're going to see your name um, pop up as someone who viewed your profile. And then they'll click on your profile. Now, what this does is, um, well, it basically keeps you top of mind. It's another way to, uh, to show you exist to this person. And actually, this is a concept, uh, it, it's not new or anything along those lines, but it's, uh, it's called retargeting. And you see a lot of companies do this. In fact, you've probably noticed if you go to a website or if you go to a certain Facebook page, if you're looking something up on Google, um, uh, a certain company or something like that, then for the next couple of days, you keep seeing ads of that same company um, pop up wherever you might be going. Uh, actually, and just as an example, it came to mind because here I see Avis, uh, the other day, two days ago, I was on the Avis website because I needed to uh, book a car rental. And uh, so now these Avis ads have been popping up all over the place. Now, so this is something companies do. And uh, it's called retargeting. And I won't get into it now. But basically, the, the gist of it is they do it because, because it works. You know, it keeps here, in this case, it keeps Avis top of mind. And so I will be uh, you know, I'll, I'll be remembering Avis. I'll remember that I went to that website. And if I still need a car, I'll see this save up to 30%. And I, you know, I might be interested in renting a car from them now. So um, anyway, obviously, I'm assuming you're not Google or Avis and you don't have a budget like that. So you can't have this retargeting pixel. Uh, so that's why I'm not getting into that. However, what you can do is use LinkedIn for the same purpose. Anytime you make an initial contact with anyone, I would look them up on LinkedIn, click on their profile. Now, if you want, you can click uh, to add them right away and uh, you can you know, click on their profile and click connect right away if you want to. Um, I find that a bit forward and uh, especially if uh, they haven't made contact back with you or anything like that. Um, if it's just someone that you've been contacting yourself, then I'd rather just go to their profile here and let them find out that you've been on their profile and you'll get a pop-up when they visit yours. At that point, you can decide either to click connect 
or else to send them an, a mail of introduction, say, hey, I'm the person that you met the other day, or I'm the person who contacted you regarding this and that. And I find it to be very effective because it does keep you top of mind. And so if they kind of, uh, you know, talk to you and were semi-interested the first time, but then kind of forgot about it, uh, then this at least can, you know, keep you up there at least a few more times. And uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, you can basically check, you know, your LinkedIn once a day or even once every couple of days and, uh, and just do it. And uh, so I just recommend it's something easy to do and uh, but that can be helpful um, when you're looking for your prospective clients.